Hey everyone, if you are looking to crush your WhatsApp marketing game in 2025, then you are going to love this video. In today's business world, whether you run an online store, a local business or an agency, if you are not actively staying in touch with your audience, they will eventually forget about you. It's just how things work in 2025. Attention spans are short and competition is everywhere. So the best way to generate repeating business is by keeping customers engaged, sending them offers, updates, reminders, or even just simple check-ins will do. Staying on their radar means staying in business. But how will you accomplish that? By email marketing or social media? Sure, email marketing is an option, but let's be honest, opening rates are dropping fast, especially in countries like India, Bangladesh, or even the US people just don't open emails like they used to before. But WhatsApp, that's a whole different story. People open WhatsApp messages instantly. The read rate is massive, and that makes it one of the most powerful tool for customer communication today. Now here's where most businesses get stuck. Suppose you want to send a sale promotion to your customers on WhatsApp, but Meta doesn't allow bulk messaging just from any platform. If you try using any unverified tools, you risk getting blocked by Meta. And that's exactly where Bot Sailor comes in. Bot Sailor is a powerful, easy to use WhatsApp marketing platform that's officially approved by Meta. In this video, I will show you step by step how to create your first WhatsApp broadcast campaign using Bot Sailor. To send a broadcast, you will first need to make sure your subscribers are in bot seller. You can either manually upload a CSV file or even better, connect a Google Sheet to sync your contacts automatically. Here's how it works. Go to subscriber manager, then select WhatsApp subscriber and from the options drop down menu, choose import subscribers. First, select a label to organize these contacts or create a new label. Just click on this manage labels option and create a new label called July promo subscribers. Then go back to import subscribers option and choose the label. Next you can either upload a CSV file by clicking the upload box or click import from Google Sheet to bring in subscribers from your spreadsheet. As you can see I have a Google Sheet with my pre-existing subscribers in it. Now I'm gonna select the Google Sheet, map data and all the subscribers will be added to my bot sellers account. And if you can understand how to connect your Google Sheet with your bot seller account, check out this YouTube video. Link will be in the description. Now that my subscribers are inside my bot seller account, let's send the broadcast message. From your bot seller dashboard, go to broadcasting section and click on WhatsApp broadcast. Select the bot account that you want to use and hit the create campaign button on the top right corner. Enter a campaign name. This is just for internal use. So write something like July promo blast. Now choose between 24 hours or anytime. Choosing a 24 hour option will only target subscribers who may who messaged you in the last 24 hours and choosing anytime will let you target all the subscribers to learn more about whatsapp's 24 hour rule you can read our documentation link will be in the description up next select a pre-approved message template these templates are approved by whatsapp and it can include variables like name or id discount code etc and this is the main broadcast message that your subscribers will get a quick tip, you can create and submit new templates from the message template options in Bot Manager. Check out our YouTube video, link will be in the description. Now it's time to choose who will receive this broadcast message. In most cases, you will have thousands of subscribers. But let's be real, you probably don't want to blast everyone with every campaign, right? For this video, I'm just gonna send a promo to the subscribers whom I recently imported from my Google Sheet. The ones we labeled as July promo subscribers. So I will just go ahead and select the label right here. Once you include this label, every subscriber inside July promo subscribers will get your broadcast message. And hey, if you want to exclude a certain group, you can do that too. Just click this label you want to leave, leave out and it will be excluded. You can also filter out your audience by their countries. Just open this country of the subscriber drop down menu and choose the country that you want to include. It is super handy if you are running region specific campaigns. Alright, let's take it a step further. What if you want to target a very specific group of users, like folks who purchased a certain product or people with certain tag. That's where custom field comes in. From this drop down menu, pick up the field that you want to filter by, like bot seller account email, bot seller users or something really specific like t-shirt size if you are doing a clothing promo like me. Then in the box next to it, just type the value you are looking for. Say you only want to send the message to the people who wear Excel size t-shirts. Just type in Excel and you are good to go. Another pro tip. 
This custom fields can be created automatically if you use WhatsApp bot to collect customer data and send it to custom fields. Later, you can reuse them anytime when building your campaign filters. This is perfect for hyper-targeting your audience, whether it's based on customer address, customer status, interests, or purchase behavior. No complicated tools or third-party filters needed. You can automatically assign labels to the subscribers who interacted with your message even after your broadcast campaign has been sent. Once your broadcast goes out, you will naturally want to see who responded or engaged with your content. By setting up auto-labeling, you can have these engaged subscribers automatically added to a specific label. This is very powerful because it gives you a clear and instant way to identify the most responsive subscribers. Finally, you can either send the message right away or schedule it for later by toggling the send later option. Once you flip that switch, you will see a date and time picker. So you can decide exactly when your broadcast goes out. It's a super handy feature if you want to plan your marketing campaigns ahead of time. Now just click on save and set up the start bot flow campaign and your broadcast mess campaign is good to go. Once your campaign is sent, you can track all the results in campaign report section. Here, you will see your campaign name at the top along with key filters like message templates that are used, included labels, any other custom field filters, or date-based targeting that you applied. Below that, you get to see your campaign's real-time performance status, the total number of subscribers targeted, how many messages have been sent or delivered, how many were actually opened, and how many were unreached, which in this case is zero. For this campaign, we sent nine messages, and all of them were delivered successfully. All of the messages were opened, giving us a 100% opening rate, which is pretty solid. And finally, down here, you will see a breakdown of each contact, including when the message was sent, when it was delivered, when it was opened, and whether there was any failure or reply. This makes it super easy to track individual results and follow up if needed. Bot Sailor's built-in analytic tools gives you everything you need to measure and improve your WhatsApp marketing performance. No extra tools required. So that's about it. Whether you're running a local business or a global store, Bot Seller makes your WhatsApp broadcasting fast, flexible, and powerful. Try it for free today at botseller.com and check out the links in the description for more in-depth tutorials.